As customers attend the uh, Visual Analytics Roadshow, we want them to come away with a couple of things. One is to understand that big data should not be an obstacle. If anything, it should be an asset for an organization. And in looking at big data, there are certain types of analytics that you can apply to the data that can help you understand future trends. So we shouldn't be afraid of big data. We should embrace it and recognize we can process it as quick as we've processed any data in the past. I often get the question, do we need visual analytics or do we need high performance analytics if we're going to tackle big data? Well, the answer is no, you, you don't have to have it. But if you want to get answers quickly, if you want to move to more real time decision making and not wait the, until the next day to get your answers, then yes, you do need it. And I do believe most people want to get answers as quick as possible so that they can meet market need and also change their business processes to become more efficient. You know, as technology has evolved over time, when we look at, uh, particularly in the business analytics area, when we look at high performance analytics and we look at visual analytics, they represent uh, the next step. Uh, what we have found is that people are more reliant on data today than they have ever been. And being reliant on data, they want answers quickly. And high performance analytics can give us the information in a matter of seconds rather than waiting hours. Visual analytics now represents a very important piece of the overall decision making process where we can look at potential uh, trends and in information relationships that we might want to analyze further. If you look at the adoption of high performance analytics and visual analytics, those that understand it uh, can see the light and are adopting it very quickly. I think one of the problems we have today is that everybody is talking about in-memory computing and everybody is talking about analytics, but those definitions tend to be nebulous and it's very hard for people to understand what the potential is. What we're trying to get across in these seminars, in these workshops, is helping people understand what is possible and what it takes to make things happen. Well, when we look at uh, visual analytics and we look at high performance analytics, there's great benefit to the enterprise. One is in the area of discovery. Visual analytics can help you discover things quickly, relationships between various data elements. When you look at high performance analytics and the server that it runs on, we've been constrained in the past in terms of processing windows. We can now take uh, jobs down from six to eight hours down to 90 seconds. That means we not only get things quicker, but now we can look at the, the way we do our business. We have the potential to change the way we do business based on this enabling technology. What's been interesting as we do these road shows is that inevitably a number of people will come up after the fact, after we're done, and ask questions saying, what's it going to take? What's it going to take for me to adopt this? So there's great excitement. And the good news is we've done what we've always done, particularly if you're an existing SaaS customer. You don't have to change your procedural language. You just have to change the procedure name itself. And all that code that's been in, in existence in the enterprise for years will now run in this new environment and run a thousand times faster. If we look at visual analytics and we say, what, what, what are we using it for? Are we using it to look at data? Are we using it to uh, provide visual insight? Are we looking at to, to uncover previously unforeseen patterns in data? The answer is yes. Uh, if we look at decision making in an organization more as a process rather than an application, visual analytics is a piece of the process that helps get us going, helps accelerate the analysis in the organization by identifying patterns very quickly, things we may not have seen before, and that's new and that's exciting. If people say they don't see the value in visual analytics, they're missing the boat. The fact of the matter is when we're dealing with a billion rows of data, how can you understand what's in that data? Visual analytics gives you that jump start into higher end analytic processes by helping you understand the relationship between data elements. You couldn't do it any other way when you're looking at billions and billions of rows of data.